Ambassador Polo C. Kibuloy expressed opinion on proposed halt to free college education program. Meanwhile, the Ambassador favors the removal of wall decorations in classrooms as ordered by the Education Department. Daniela Paulite has the details. State colleges and universities that openly support the terrorist groups Communist Party of the Philippines, New People's Army National Democratic Front or CPP, NPA, and DF should have their free tuition privileges revoked according to Pastor Apollo C. Kibuloy of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ. This statement comes in response to the issue of halting the free college education program. Pastor Apollo emphasized that not all universities should be subjected to the removal of free education. Instead, he suggests that it should apply only to universities blatantly supporting the CPP, NPA, and DF. Yung state university tulad ng UP na hinila pinipigilan ang mga makakaliwang grupo na mag-recruit para sa Uh, si PPNP and DF, yun ang dapat uh, kunan ng tuition. Pero yung mga state universities na pinipigilan ng ganito at binabantayan na hindi makapasok ang mga komunistang grupong sumisira sa kabataan, eh wag. Earlier, Finance Secretary Benjamin Jokno had stated that the universal access to quality tertiary education or free college education is anti-poor as it requires a substantial budget. Meanwhile, Pastor Apollo supports the directive of Vice President and Education Secretary Sara Duterte to keep the interior of classrooms clean without decorations, tarps, or posters. This is to help students focus on their studies. The good pastor also voiced his support for the Vice President. Tama, para walang distraction. At wala well, makapagsabit ng kung ano man doon o no, hindi naman kinakailangan. Pagaling ang sinabi ng ating uh, Education Secretary at the same time Vice President, Sara Simerman Duterte. We uh, support her for that. For God and my beloved country, this has been Daniela Paulite, SMNI News. Pastor Polo C. Kibuloy on Thursday urged the Commission on Human Rights to first condemn the human rights violations perpetrated by communist terrorist groups before denouncing the drug war of the Duterte administration. Ina Mortel reports. The International Criminal Court or ICC's investigation into the alleged human rights abuses committed by the Duterte administration and its war on drugs continues to be a recurring topic. Amen. Praise the Father. This was stated by Pastor Apollo C. Kibble in his program Give Us This Day last Thursday, where he answered the question about his perspective on the planned cooperation of the Commission on Human Rights with the ICC. CHR Chairperson Richard Palpalatok said the Commission is willing to share the evidence it has gathered with the ICC. Meanwhile, Pastor Apollo said that the country's leaders themselves want to break away from the ICC. Kahit ang Pangulo natin ay nagsabing, we are cutting off ties with ICC. Yes. Mga senador natin, mga congressmen natin, lahat ng mga narito ay ayaw nila na pakialaman tayo ng ICC. Bakit? Kasi tayo ay isang, uh, isang uh, uh, republikang may mga batas na pinatutupad. Amen. The good pastor also defended the campaign against illegal drugs by former President Rodrigo Duterte, saying he saw legitimacy in the steps taken by the former president. Pangulong Duterte, inutusan ba niya, mag-abuso kayo? Walang inutos na gano'n. Sabi ba ng Pangulong Duterte, sige, patayin mo yan. Meron ba siya inutos na gano'n? Ang narinig kong inutos niya eh, uh, you have to do your job in this, uh, in this uh, crusade against drugs. If your life is, in the, is uh, put in danger, oh, you have to defend yourself. You know? Oh. Siyempre, may mga nagkaputukan, barila, tulad ngayon. May uh, ilang bilyong worth of drugs na sabat. Makikipagputukan talaga yung mga drug lords doon. Yung mga dadala ng drugs. Oh, sa illegitimate account, namamatay sila. 
Furthermore, according to Pastor Apollo, the Commission on Human Rights does not intervene in the human rights violations of the communist terrorist groups CPP and PNDF. Itong Commission on Human Rights, hindi naman pinakikilaman ang, ang uh, uh, human rights violation ng CPP and PNDF. Saan maraming namatay? Sa CPP and PNDF terrorist group o sa drug war na ang pakay ay iligtas ang kabataan at ang lahat ng taong Pilipinas para hindi masira sa drug at maging zombie nation tayo. Pastor Apollo emphasized that the CHR should prioritize addressing the violence of the communist terrorist groups and he believes that the commission should be the first to condemn their actions. Dapat tutukan ng CHR muna ang abuso ng CPP and PA terrorist group na napakaraming abuses na ginawa pamamaslang ng mga inosente hanggang ngayon at ang panununo, pambobomba at pangaabuso. Wala tayong naririnig sa siyasa niya. Recall that the Anti-Terrorism Council designated the CPP, NP, and NDF as terrorist organizations under ATC Resolutions No. 12 and 21 respectively, pursuant to Anti-Terrorism Act of 2020. The Philippine government has been at war with the CPP, NP, and NDF for more than five decades. The terrorist organization has committed numerous human rights violations, including murder, kidnapping, and extortion. Forgotten, my beloved Philippines, this has been Ina Mortel, SMNA News.